Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'll be reviewing this 3 inch DC 3 quad from iFlight and telling you why I voted this the best quad of 2019. I've flown and reviewed lots of quads this year and generally the standard of bind and fly ones has improved again as it has year on year. And of all the quads I've flown, this DC3 from iFlight fitted with a DJI Air unit is a perfect all-rounder. I guess most importantly it flies beautifully right out of the box. The tune is just about perfect for acro as well as just cruising around and long range taking in fantastic digital HD views in the DJI goggles. And when I first started using FPV three odd years ago this is what I imagined it would be like. You get great flight times when you're cruising with a 550mAh LiPo and I totally recommend getting the version with a TBS Crossfire receiver. With the great digital HD video range combined with the RC range of Crossfire you can sit back and pretty much fly where you want to without worrying about losing RX or VTX signal. And now with the latest DJI firmware update they fully integrated the Betaflight OSD so you're not missing out on any important telemetry info and things couldn't be better. You could even strap a GPS on the DC3, it's got enough spare UARTs, and you could see your position and direction in the OSD. And you could enable rescue or return to home mode if you really wanted to. And this is very quiet for a 3 inch quad. It's not uber stealthy but it is fairly small so if you're flying in the park you're not going to attract a lot of attention. As well as getting the cinematic GoPro style HD view in your goggles you'll also be capturing great 1080p footage at 60 frames a second so no GoPros needed and that's what keeps the weight down. But if you wanted to there's nothing to stop you mounting one on top of the DC3 and maybe strapping the battery underneath. And the DC3 frame is a dead cat style design, so you won't have any props in the view anywhere. And for me, the icing on the cake is its weight. Depending on which LiPo you use, the all up weight is just under 250 grams, even on 4S. So you won't have to register this in the UK or other parts of the world where 250 grams is the requirement. And I've been flying this for nearly two months in its F7 guise and it's been 100% trouble free and that's why it's my quarter of the year for 2019. So let's take a closer look at this. The frame, like everything else on this quad, is deceptively simple but incredibly effective. It's a mono frame that's been cut from 3mm 3K carbon and it's all very nicely finished. And this is a dead cat style design, so the arms are pushed back here almost straight and they're well out of the way of the camera. So you're not going to get any props appearing in your goggle or your HD footage. The top plate here is 2mm carbon and is mounted on aluminium standoffs, six of them, and there's a couple of 1mm carbon plates that hold the camera in place. It's very easy to adjust the up tilt of that camera. The flight stack down here is the Sussex D Mini F7 with an all-in-one 35 amp ESC mounted at the bottom. The first ones of these did come with an F4 flight controller, but this is the F7 version. And on the top is a 3D printed TPU mount to hold the Crossfire receiver. Very neat. And I really like the way the Crossfire antenna has been mounted at the front here. It's another couple of TPU printed brackets. And I've been flying this loads and there's been absolutely no issues with this braking or the camera. There's plenty of protection on this aluminium standoff. And just behind the flight stack is another TPU bracket that very neatly holds the air unit in place. And at the back, there's another mount that holds the DJI antennas. 
These are a bit vulnerable, especially the connectors on the back of the air unit. But DJI have done a great job of tucking these behind the standoffs at the back, so there's plenty of protection there. Uh, these Zing motors from iFlight are currently killing it in the Cinewoop and 3 inch quad market. This has got the Zing 1404 4600 KV with HQ T3x3x3 props, and it's a perfect combination. It's very responsive to throttle changes and it feels nice and smooth, but it's still got some punch. They could have gone for some higher KV motors, but I think it wouldn't have been so smooth and progressive. And anyway, this has got punch. You have to remember it's not an all out racer. So for me, a great combo of motors and props. And everything is just very tidily put together. There's no wires dangling outside the frame. And I really think this is up to the usual build quality that I've seen from all the other iFlight builds that I've reviewed. It's just all very nice. The Sussex flight controller is flashed with Betaflight 404 and apart from binding the crossfire receiver and setting up the modes and some tweaks to the rates, there's minimal setup that you have to do. iFlight had done everything. They pre-configured the crossfire option, which is the one I'd chosen, and I guess it would be the same for whatever receiver option you go for, XM Plus or RXSR. And this weighs 173 grams and with a GNB 550 milliamp hour battery, it's just 220, so it's under the 250 grams. And you get a couple of quality iFlight branded battery straps, which is awesome, it makes a change. Nice metal buckles there, different sizes. There's nothing obviously clever about this quad but everything just works and it works really, really well. I've added a silicon pad to the top here to stop the battery sliding around and I've put a couple of foam pads on the bottom, just landing pads, just to protect the frame here. And for whatever reason, I do like top mounted batteries. Maybe that's because what I started out with years ago, but for me somehow it just feels a better balance. And all the parts for this are available to buy direct from iFlight's website. So if you break something, you're not going to be stuck. You'll be able to get those spares. So if you're looking for what I think is the best bind and fly quad in 2019 to use with your DJI digital FPV goggles, I'd recommend this DC3 from iFlight. Absolutely, no question. It's not cheap, but you do get what you pay for. It's around £300 or $370 if you opt for the Crossfire and the DJI Air Unit version. But do check the links in the description for the latest prices. And remember this does include the DJI Air Unit, which on its own is priced at £150. Without doubt, it's the best bind of fly quad I've tested this year. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video. I'll see you next time.